Okay, we are so lost. Gorgeous and perfect and so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to meet him. We freeze dried these gummy bears. How yeah, funny. They get huge. Hello guys, so we are headed to go to a fun fall activity, which we do every single year. We're going to go to a corn maze and then go through some haunted hollows. This is kind of like an outdoor haunted um, house. And so it's kind of spooky and it's really fun because this trail leads through a forest and um, it is a lot of jump scaring. So if you don't like jump scaring, I wouldn't go. But they always have like different themes and it's a little bit different so you don't know exactly what to expect because they change it a little bit. It's just fun to do and it's very family friendly. It's not like where it's only teens and adults would enjoy it. Kids can enjoy this as well and not be too scared. <laughs> Even though it's fun to get scared to be and like, we like to scream and really get scared yeah. just for the fun of it. We're headed to this. I think there's a few other activities at this area. It's kind of like a fall fun festival area that we'll probably do. Who knows what else this weekend. We may get some Halloween decorations put up. We may carve pumpkins. I'm not sure what we're gonna get done. <laughs> so you'll have to let us know what you guys have been doing, what kind of activities you've been up to. Who's excited? Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, so we made it to the corn maze. I'm gonna take this off because nobody's by us. If someone comes by us, I'll turn it, put it back on. We made it in the corn maze and um, we forgot a map of the corn maze, so we have no directions on how to get out of here. But don't worry, we're really good at plowing through the corn. Oh, you know, yes. how, you know how so, you always get um, free? So you just always go left. If you can't go left no more, like and you're stuck, always go right and just keep on switching every time you're stuck. Okay, right here. Or we can just go, go straight. Right. We're gonna have to go right, and then we're gonna have to go left. Okay. Okay, we're gonna test their theory of always oh, going. Are we going right? Nope, it dead ends. Okay, but from now on we go right because we couldn't go left. Okay, so we did start out in this corn maze left. And now we're just kind of looping around. We don't know what the maze is this year, like what it looks like, what the figure is. Watch it stands. <laughs> we'll figure it out. And nope, we have to go right again. No, if we're always going right, we have to go right. So okay. this way, we can't go that way. Okay, always right now. We're always right until we can't go right anymore. And then, it's always left. And then we'll go left always. And okay. <laughs> see if this works. Or if we just end up right back where we've started. So now we have to go left. So okay. Go left. So now we can't go right, so we have to go left, always left. We have to go right. No, because we have to go straight. No, because if you're looking here, that'd be right. This would be left. We have to go left always until we can't anymore. You look at it from any angle. Any. <laughs> okay, so we ended up going in a full circle. And because we went in a full circle, the rule is then you go the opposite direction. Like, yeah. not, you don't turn around. But if you were going left and you went always left and you ended up in a full circle, then you go right at the next path that gets you out of that full circle. Yeah. Because it's an so, infinite circle. You would be stuck there forever. Yeah. So So then you take a right and then just keep doing the same process. Always right. Let's see how fast we can get through this corn maze. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we are so lost. The boys method of going always left <laughs> did not work in this instance. And now we are circling around. I don't know where we're going. Ty just went a different direction than me and Jake. Anyway, we are lost in the corn maze, but we had a look online what the corn maze is, and it's a scarecrow in a cornfield holding a pumpkin. That's what the maze is. So it's very complicated, and to try to get out of here is gonna be crazy. And it's spooky because Random ears of corn keep falling to the ground in the middle of the corn and it kind of like jump scares you. But I think we're making our way back to the very start of the maze. <laughs> so... Yeah, where are we? <laughs> you boys are usually... I know, like, we're so close yet so very, very far away. Okay, every year, the end 
six to the start. Yes. So I'm hoping that we're going to the end. But do you see how many people are coming the opposite direction? So I think you're wrong. I don't know. Straight in. We'll go straight until we find the entrance and then we'll find the exit right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the entrance. That's the exit through there. We're not gonna cheat, Ty. Ty. Ty, get back here. Ty. Ty's trying to go through. Okay, I have an idea. What? As soon as you can go right, go right. I'll to go right this side. time instead of left? We have to go left. Yeah, we never did this one. We always went left. So let's stay right this time and see. I think that was good to go back to the beginning. You think so? Yeah, so we could turn right. Maybe. Go, boys, go! <laughs> well, we made it from the entrance to the end. We may have blazed some trails, though. Yeah. Now we need to go somewhere and wait for I suggest Dad not around here. Through. We made it back home. We did the Haunted Hollow. What'd you think, Ty? The Haunted Hollow was pretty good. I screamed a lot because I got jump scared a lot. Like, what they do is they have like several that are props and then they have like people that are just stand still and then ones that jump out of you and you never know which one's gonna move and scare you. So it's really creepy. Anyway, I think now since it's really late, we're gonna go to bed and then probably continue our fun adventures tomorrow and just make it a fun weekend. But tomorrow, hopefully we'll get our yard decorated. That's the goal. Alrighty, so it's the next day <laughs> and we decided that we're going to decorate our yard, the outside of our house, our porch, yes. for Halloween. So it's the thing is, here's the deal, here's the story. Okay, here's the tea. Here's the tea. Um, a cold front is moving in, which a cold front means that the weather is dropping and it's going to get really chilly. So tomorrow is going to be a cold sweater weather day, which is great. Fun fall moves. However, when you're working in the yard, you don't want really cold weather. At least I don't because I don't yeah. like to freeze. So yeah. um, digging out all the pirate stuff requires us to, it's stored at grandpa's house and we'd have to yeah. go over there and dig it all out. It's a lot of effort. <laughs> And, and then we would so, just be taking it down kind of yes. soon because we didn't get it up super early. So I think what we're going to do instead is put pumpkins on our porch. Ooh, <laughs> I mean, we still want to decorate and we still want it to be fun, but like yeah. something more simple and easy to clean It's going to be a very simple, but you can even keep up like yeah. into Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because pumpkins are cute, right? Pumpkins. pumpkins. They're cute. So I think that's our plan because we still have other chores that we have to get done. Like yeah. Jordan's getting a puppy. Um, also we have... Subscribe! <laughs> yeah, no, for real, subscribe to the Williams because there's going to be a video yeah, up in so... here. As well as Just Arthur 3 and Jordan May Williams. Long We're going to get pumpkins. We're getting pumpkins. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty, here's the pumpkins that we chose. We could not find like warty pumpkins, which we really wanted a warty greenish. We liked the warty pumpkins, but, but there weren't any. We'll keep so, our eye out for them and maybe we'll add to our little porch pumpkin patch. Yes, so we got these other ones too that are cute. And Jordan's gonna just stick them until they all look nice. Arrange yeah, our pumpkins. Spots, so... Wait, where's our green ones? In the house. In the house. Okay. Okay, so we also have like this little green and white one and this green one that we can do something with. Okay. We just have to figure out how to make it look kind of cutesy. Yeah, I really like this stack. Yes, that is cute stack. Okay, so this is our front porch for this Halloween. Yes, it's simple. Our yard has like literally no decorations, but it's cute. It's still cute, right? It's simple. So cute. Happy weekend. <laughs> It's another day and we bake cinnamon rolls and we've got pot roast in the oven or in the crock pot. And Jordan found out a little bit more news. Okay. It was, okay. All right. Very sad news. I need you guys on my side. No, okay, wait. First we're we need in to a heated the news. debate right now and you guys have to help me. We had some Team really, David. Oh Team my gosh. David. Okay, let her explain. We had some really sad news this morning. So we were planning on picking up my puppy 
tomorrow. tomorrow. But unfortunately, um, apparently he's been acting super weird and kind of mopey. She's taking him to the vet to find out if there's anything that's off or anything like that. But we got some videos of him. He is so gorgeous and perfect and so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to meet him. He I'm is so, so cute. The problem sad. is is that the owner um, sent We're still with... gonna get the dog. Yes. We're just we have to wait, delay but pickup because we have to make sure he's fully they okay. They sent video of, that, of Jordan's puppy, puppy with right its little brother. And the two puppies together are so cute. And and she was like, Are you ready to meet your mama? Everybody and wants to so have two puppies he, now. He was so cute. Except for the David. dog I that, that I yeah, bought. Yeah, yeah. Then she showed the other dog and she's like you still need to find your mama, huh? You are so sweet. You need to get your mama. It's a sales tactic. And like, it's a sales tactic. Oh, it probably is a sales tactic, but you they can't are deny the truth that the two adorable. puppies together are adorable. And Everyone wants see. to get both because we don't want to separate the brothers, but we'll see. So it is a fun day. Yeah, I love both puppies. I think I it would be fun, but it would also be overwhelming because it makes everything harder, like going on trips, yeah. going camping. It does complicate things. Yeah. We'll see. Anyway, that was it? that was the funny debate, but actually the sad Dude, part is we have to puppies, delay pickup, puppies, dude, which puppies. we totally get. We want to make sure nothing is wrong with like his organs and everything. They have to go make sure at the vet, so that way like they can take care of him. Anyways, I'm so we're going to take our dog that we have right now, Logan, to go play with its cousin's dog. Let's go do our puppy play date. There's Lucky, Lucky and Logan. You gonna play? Oh, get him, Lucky. There goes Logan. <laughs> Woo! Let's see what it looks like when you freeze dry a gummy bear. Oh, they're poofy. We freeze dried these gummy bears. How funny. They, they get huge. Are they good? Uh huh. Oh, they're crunchy. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a frozen freeze dried gummy bear. Go play, Logan. Lucky has like so much energy. Stuff. I'm like, whoa, you have so much energy. Oh my gosh. Come here, dog. Oh, my hair's in your face. Hi, Vivi. I don't know. Logan's more chill and he just likes to like relax and sleep. You want a treat? Say no. Do you know what? He wants the human food. You can't have this, Logs. All right, guys, dinner's gonna be ready in, Katie said, five, five ten minutes, minutes which is good. We got fresh carrots from the garden Oh, cooking. there we go. We didn't get too much stuff from the garden Not this year. Not hardly anything But from the what garden. we got, we're eating. Here's a quick, easy pot roast recipe if you want. Just take some canned cream of mushroom it's delicious. soup, two cans, dump it in with a cup and a half water and one packet of dry onion Lipton soup mix, just the dry powder, dump that in. It's good. Mix that together and then we like to cook our veggies on the side instead of in the crock pot, but you can throw you can your potatoes way. and carrots and celery in if you want, whatever. Yep. But boom, dinner's done. Okay, so we're gonna eat dinner. We're gonna start a new TV series. So Katie and I watched this when it first came out. It's called Heroes. And it's awesome because it's like all these people who get like these special powers. Yeah, it and is. And they a all good get show. different things and they have to. Well, and they have to save the cheerleader because if they save the cheerleader, they'll save the world. That's all I can say. Every episode is pretty action packed. Yeah, it's like, pretty it's fun. It's not a slow series, it's fast. So, so if you hear us start saying like different quotes from heroes, it's on Amazon Prime, not That's sponsored. What we're gonna try to... But we're going to start watching that one. I think the kids are going to love it because it's right down that alley of imagination and kind of fun stuff. So. Well, they like the action and the, and the action. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Till next time. Yep. High five. <laughs>